So the price of a television at shop A was 3,400. This was 15% lower than the price of a similar television at shop B. What was the price of the television sold at shop B? So when it comes to assigning 100 units, which should I assign 100 units to shop A or shop B, Jack? Shop B. Okay. So, shop B, we assign it 100 units. Then, since shop A was 15% lower than that of shop B, shop A is how many units, Lauren? Sorry? 85 units. Now we need to find out the price of the television sold at shop B. So I know that 85 units equals to how much, Kaden? 3,400 dollars. We can find one unit first. And what is one unit? Can someone please calculate for me? 40. 40 dollars. And since we need to find the price of the television sold at shop B, Shop B is 100 units, right? Okay, it will be $4,000. So the first part is quite easily done. Okay, you're going to write down uh, ANS part A. It's actually $4,000. Now it comes to part B. Part B is the part that is actually tougher. Okay. During the Great Singapore sale, both shops gave the same discount for the sale of the television. Right? Then the discounted price of the television at shop A was $489 less than that of shop B. What was the percentage discount given by shop both shops? Okay, you only know the difference in price, discounted price. Yeah. But they, they never tell you the percentage discount, right? Yeah. Okay, all they are telling you in the question is that both shops, they enjoy the same percentage discount. When I say the same percentage discount, what I meant is that if shop A offers 10% discount, shop B also offers 10%. Okay, that's what they mean. Okay, but we do not know the percentage right now. The only thing we know is that after the discount, okay, after the percentage discount, the de television at shop A costs $489 less than that of shop B. So how do we solve this question? Okay, in order to solve this question, let me sh uh, give you a simple example, okay, a very simplified example, right? Now, let's say if I have, this is not related to the question, I have two shops, X and Y. Okay. Shop X, right, sells a badminton racket for hundred dollars. And shop Y, right, sells the same badminton racket, but shop Y sells it at eighty dollars. Correct? Okay, what's the difference in the price between both shops? It's actually $20, right? So far, so good? Now, I show you both shops, right? Enjoy a 10%, uh, actually both shops offer a 10% discount during a sale. Both shops offer a 10% discount during a sale. So after the 10% discount, how much does Shop X sells the badminton racket for Leroy? $90. Then how much does Shop Y sells the badminton 
racket for uh, Elliot, seventy-two dollars. What do you think happens to the difference? It actually becomes eighteen dollars, right? At first, the difference in price. Original price uh, is $20. Both shops enjoy a 10% discount. Both shops enjoy a 10% discount. Can you see? Okay. And then the difference became $18. Now, if you compare the, the difference in price before and after, do you notice that the discount right, also decreases by 10%? The difference, sorry. The difference also decreased by 10%. Okay. So, how is this example helpful in solving your question? Colin Chi, yes? Yes, correct. Okay. You heard what uh, Colin Chi said? To find the percentage discount, uh, knowing the difference uh, from the difference, we can find a percentage discount, right? Because $20 and $18, right? The difference is actually And 2 over the original multiplied by 100%, we can get 10%, which is the percentage discount. Am I right? Now, Using this simplified example, I can also find the answer for my percentage discount for my television question, right? Yeah. Okay, let's look at the television question. Television question, right? A and B. Shop A initially sells for how much? How much is $3,400? Shop B sells for $4,000. And you know that the difference is $600, right? Okay. But after that, we do not know how much A and B is selling for, yes or no? But we know that the difference is $489. Clear wrong. So, in order to solve the question, okay, wait, uh, before I move on, who does not understand my simplified example? Who does not understand the example for X and Y? Because you notice that when they enjoy a discount of 10%, right? Correct? The difference also decreased by 10%. How I know it's 10%? Because 20 minus 18, right? The difference is 2, right? 2 over the original difference multiplied by 100% equals 10%. The change in the difference will allow us to find the percentage discount. Who does not understand this example? So everyone can understand this example? If you can understand this example, raise your hand. Okay, please put down your hand. Jing Kai, give me the final step. Okay, 600 minus 489. And what does it give me, Jinkai? What? 18, is it? 111. Okay, now, 111. Clarence, tell me what's the next step. 111 over... 
multiply by 100%. Who does not understand this question? The second part is the part that is confusing. But I'm trying to, that's why I use a very simplified example to prove that this is true. Okay? Anyone has any issue with this? Okay. If there's no issue, I'm going to pass you uh, worksheet 3.